hi guys uh, this is Yugender. today we are going to see about uh, packet fence switch configuration so let us start uh, the default settings what we are given here global settings for radius server so you can see there is a triple a new model and uh, this is uh, default settings and for server and server ip we are given packet fence server ip because we are going to use packet fence server and radius server both same so authentication port 1812 and access port 1813 and remaining three condition this triple authentication conditions are same so the next step we are giving radius server host ip address is same ip packet fence server ip and the port numbers will be default and key uh, here we are going to give the radius server key so whatever we are configured in uh, packet fence server for radius we are going to give the same key here so next line radius server vsa and send authentication this is the default and next we are going to add route routing enable settings so ip routing this is a normal and ip domain name uh, uh, domain.com you can give your domain name and global settings again we, we enable dot one x system authentication control this is also global setting and second after that we configured three vlans for registration isolation and normal so we, you can see there is a 282 registration 283 isolation and 286 normal so if you want uh, extra normal uh, vlans you can add extra normal vlans so you can see that ip assigned how we are given here so for a vlan ip assigning an interface vlan 282 and IP address so the same ranges how we specified in the configurations in the earlier videos so the default route to reach internet so we are given the switch IP address this one so the remaining same so in last two we can see uh, there is a C this is the end user port configuration where that client computer will connect in this port you can see the configuration here so this is how we configure interface fast port and switch port mode access and this is how we have to configure here so this is packet fence server configuration where we did the trunk switch port as a trunk port and then we allowed uh, navigate uh, vlan 200 so if you do this all settings so, so that's it from switch side configurations thank you guys